All right, guys, we're back with another product review slash unboxing. This product actually came in the other day in the mail, and it's a free product that was sent to me. Of course, I have any free will to say what I want to say about it because it was sent to me for free. There's no money, you know, exchanging. So I could really just say what I want, and, you know, I'm going to give my honest opinion about the product, and if it, you know, it's good, I'll tell you. If it's bad, mm, I'm going to tell you it's bad. So I will let you know as we go on throughout the video. I've actually already kind of tested out the product because I needed it in a pinch because I needed to shoot the video talking about why I quit my job. So, yes, I've already kind of tested the product, but we're still going to unbox it, you know, so y'all can have the experience of it being unboxed. And y'all seem to like those videos, so hopefully one day these videos pay off where I get the money, I can just buy more products. Or companies can keep sending me them. I'm not going to turn them down unless they suck. And I know they suck, that's the only way I'm turning them down. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So basically, I'm going to be unboxing the Ulanzi L3 RGB cob light. It's a mini cob light. It looks big on the box, but it's, it's not that big. And honestly, this is a very big box for how big the cob light actually is. Yes. The package did come in like this. I didn't, you know, think it was going to be just beat up. Shout out the male people who uh, delivered this product. So basically this product comes with a spotlight attachment, which basically gives you the ability to add little gobo slides into it so you can change the designs i haven't messed with the designs yet so as i go and talk about each gobo slide itself i'll show you what it looks like i'll put it on my wall or something so you can see you know exactly what i mean but basically it comes with a uh, spotlight for those and then it also comes with a diffusion dome which works pretty well so far that, from my test and it comes with the barn doors and the barn doors are kind of cool uh they're like a little bit different than normal barn doors so yeah that's actually kind of cool as you can tell, you kind of see what they look like in the picture. They're kind of aligned, so it should help diffuse the light a little bit better than reflecting off the actual barn door itself. All right, let's go ahead and uh, unbox it because the box is pretty much already open. But um, yeah, so this is the box it comes in. It has, I thought at first it was a damaged, you know, case, but no, the, the case just comes like that. I don't know if that's their logo. Is that their logo? I honestly don't know. But yeah, it basically came like this, a little dented, but that's just the design, as you can tell when you look a little bit closer, but let's go ahead and unbox it. It's a nice little hard case, I'm not gonna lie. Like this case is solid. Like I feel like I could throw this and it'd be okay. I wouldn't recommend doing that because why damage the product? But I feel like if I did do it, it would be okay. So let's go ahead and unzip this. And as you can tell, it comes with the spotlight. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of excited to try this out when I first got it. And I tried the spotlight and there's some weird like issue that goes around the edges of the spotlight. So if you're gonna use this, you're gonna need it to, you know, put it on a product, not necessarily use it as a spotlight itself because it's not gonna be that good. I'm telling you that right now. And actually I'll put up an example of what it looks like. It literally has like some weird fringing on the edges where it just does, it's not a clean circle, let's just say that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is actually the barn doors. So the barn doors, yes, they're small, but they open up and it actually has like a little diffusion panel with some reflective pieces on the inside. I don't know if you could tell if I put it up close to here, if it will actually show you, but yeah, as you can see, there's some reflective pieces in there that help hopefully make this a little bit brighter. Haven't tested it out, but of course, as I'm talking right now, I'll be putting the actual barn doors to use on the wall, just so you can see what it looks like. And yeah, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but hopefully it looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at the next part. So let's go ahead and lay that down right there. And then we have the uh, diffusion dome. I'm not gonna lie, this diffusion dome might be small and kind of weird looking, but it's actually pretty good. I used it to record the, my first video of me being in this house, and I'm not gonna lie, it, it looked pretty good for what it is. For how small this light is, it's a decent it's a decent dome and then we have you know the little charging cable it comes with it's USB-C to USB-A and of course the actual light is USB-C so you, yes you could have it charging while you're using it that's pretty cool so the light is you know it's RGB but it also has different like effects it can do it can do like police lights actually I can really just tell you what they can do all right so this isn't the English page but I didn't feel like digging through it but basically it can do a cop car ambulance fire engine emergency I don't, I don't know what that means, but sure. Uh, fireworks, uh, party, TV, RGB strobe, HSI slow, and HSI fast. And so basically it would be a red flash, a green flash for the ambulance, blue flash for fire engine, uh, lightning for the emergency. Uh, for the fireworks, it'll be fault bulb. And then for party, it'll have W strobe. TV has pulsing. RGB strobe has HL beam. Sure. HSI slow has paparazzi, HSI fast has Y stroke. Let's get to this. So basically you have a cold shoe mount, 
or hot shoe. I honestly don't know the difference. Like I always struggle, you know, figuring out which one's which. I just don't care to look it up. So we're just gonna assume it's cold shoe because nothing's actually going into it. And then we also have a quarter inch screw hole. So you can screw this onto like a little uh, light stand or you can screw it onto, you know, a magic arm. Like I have all around my room somewhere. I, I honestly don't know where they are, but yeah, there's the, you can screw a magic arm into it. You can basically screw it onto stuff at the end of the day. So what I did is I actually screwed the included mount, the little hot shoe mount. So you just screw that into there. It actually doesn't screw on straight from what I noticed. So I had to like screw it sideways and then just like drop this down. And then that ended up working for me. So yeah, it, like it doesn't really shift and it does, if it does shift, you can just shift it back and then retighten it. And then you could obviously tighten this down onto the camera itself. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And this is actually how I used it on my camera the other day because on top of my monitor, I put a cold shoe mount so I could put this inside of it. Whoa. All right, we're discovering things as we go along. This is actually magnetic, I just found out. Um, I don't have anything metal, I don't think. Let me see. All right, so now I have the cube and I'm gonna show you that it's magnetic. So I'm gonna put it on this filing cabinet that is in my room. So yeah, basically it, it's magnetic, it sticks. I don't have to hold it and uh, this is really cool because if you want to put it anywhere that's metal, you can just put it on there and it'll stick to it and you don't have to worry about having light stand. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. All right. So now let's actually look at the product itself. It has a cool little guide that kind of shows you what the uh, degrees is for the lights. So zero degrees will be your oranges and then you go to 180, which is like the bluish area. And then you go to 360, which is going to be your red ish, like purplish merging into orange like it just goes back into a circle basically i guess i should have seen the magnet on the back because it actually shows a magnet so that could have been a good you know indicator that this thing is you know magnetic but it, you know it is what it is the interface is pretty simple this is like a glass you know cover i think it's glass or it's really thick plastic one of the two it has pretty simple controls it has three buttons so you have a power button and then you have your like selector like movement buttons so you know go up and down so let's just go ahead and turn it on i have it set already to the cct mode which it'll give me the color temperature mode so you have you know your warm uh, colors and then it goes down all the way to 2700 Kelvin and then you can go all the way back up and that'll take you to dang okay this thing's actually going high oh 7000 Kelvin that's actually pretty good like one of these light panels that I have I don't know which one one of them actually I think I gave the other one to somebody else the old one so these I think go up to like 7000 Kelvin as well or maybe 8000 but yeah this gets pretty cool for what it is it doesn't look like pure blue it's kind of like almost like a weird like white green tinted light I don't know if it's my glass no it's definitely the light it's kind of green tinted so I don't know that's just something I observed from my eye if I want to get out of CCT mode I can just press the two arrow keys and that'll take me to scene mode. So I got the cop car, the ambulance, and then you have the fire engine, which is just red. Then you have your emergency, and then that is a white strobe, kind of. It's kind of warm, in my opinion, but sure. And then you have red for fireworks. Oh, red and green, RGB. RGB for the fireworks, cool. That does not look like fireworks. And then you got your party mode, which is a very slow shift between the RGB colors, but whatever. And then you have your TV mode, which should strobe like a TV. Yep, there you go. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like flickering like a TV. Uh, you know, it would if you're like not showing the TV on screen. But then you go over to the RGB strobe. That's pretty slow in my opinion, but it does throw in a couple other colors in there. So that's pretty cool. Then you go to HSI slow, which should slowly shift the colors. Yeah. And then we go to HSI high fast, and it's going to shift them a little bit quicker. It's still kind of slow in my opinion, but you know for how small this thing is and only being five watts which i don't think i mentioned this thing is actually only five watts so it's not a lot of output compared to like my amaran 300c that i have this is only five watts compared to 300 and then let's just go ahead and click both these arrows again and you got your rgb mode so this is where you can change your color degrees so 172 like i said 180 area is gonna be the blue go all the way to the 300s and then you're going to slowly start getting the shift to purplish and then you should be getting like a orangish pinkish <laughs> I completely was wrong uh, pink then red and then probably orange yep there you go and then you're going to show go to yellow green 
blue slowly and yeah that's basically how you change your rgb mode and then if you click the power button you can do this for all the modes for example like you want to do it in the cct mode or if you want to do it in the effects you just press the power button and it goes down and you can actually change the brightness of it so you can go down to honestly i don't really notice how low it goes like how like the difference in it it looks the exact same to me now i'm starting to notice the difference but like 10 percent. i guess it's slowly shifting so it's hard for me to acknowledge it but like there i saw a difference in 50 and then 50 to 100 maybe a slight difference like i don't notice much of a difference but there obviously is going to be a difference so yeah so that's pretty much all the effects on it and you you just hold it for a while and it turns off not even a while it takes like not even a second to turn off but it's better than just clicking it on and off because it, oh i guess if you double click it it turns on no okay maybe that was just an accident okay don't know why i did that let's go ahead and put this little diffusion dome on it and i'm actually going to change this back to cct mode and let me go to a decent color temperature that's not too crazy all right so i'm gonna give you a little live example of what the diffusion dome does so this is my normal light and this is what the diffusion dome on so you can tell it's very soft on my face i do have it at probably like 100 percent. yeah so it's, it's kind of harsh uh compared to like this light but it's gonna fill me in just a little bit you know it can fill in my shadows on my face and it's just very soft it's not harsh if i take the diffusion dome off see how much harsher the light is how how much it's like blowing my face out so definitely always use a diffusion dome if you're gonna be using it on a subject i just recommend that because you want the softer lighting and not the harsh you know bright light on the face all right so that's pretty much everything in here now we can just go over to the gobo sliders so let me go ahead and turn this off let's go ahead and get this out the way and then we got the little gobo sliders we got a few of them different options okay um i'm actually kind of you know concerned of how these are going to look because I've already seen what this looks like without having any gobo slides in it. Imagine what it would look like <laughs> with these little gobo slides. Now, I don't want to hate on it because I don't know what it looks like, but basically for the gobo slides, you just want to slide it in like this. And so on the screen, you're going to see, oh, maybe not. There you go. I had it in backwards. On the screen, you're going to see what the straight line one looks like. I mean, that, I feel like it's just going to be like a little slash in the wall, but yeah, that's what that looks like. Next, you're going to have the little maple leaf. So the maple leaf just slides in there and then, yep, that's what the maple leaf's going to look like. Probably going to give it a little orange tint just so, you know, you can see what it looks like. I don't know what you would use a maple leaf for, in my opinion, but sure, why not? I, I guess. This has more significance because you can use this for like a little slash of light on a product or something like that, but maybe an up close photo of somebody with a slash of light on them I, I don't know how close you'd have to get the light but yeah that's what you could do with that the heart too you could probably use that on a subject just to add a little effect around them you know if they want to put their face in it or a product you can put a spotlight straight down you can have a little heart logo i feel like that'd be pretty cool for you know certain say perfume products for example or something like that or valentine's day products this would be a pretty cool one to use next we just have a circle um i, I that one I, I, well, I don't know. Um, a circle. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if that's very useful or not, but yeah, that's what a, a circle looks like. This one's very popular. This is a little, oh, there we go. This is a little window frame. Like a lot of people use this as like a background. So you can just have it off to size slanted and it kind of emulates like false sunlight, sunlight coming through a window and just gives you that little, you know, shadow. I would say reverse. What's the, what's the reverse of a shadow? Because it's not a shadow. It's more of like light leaks through a window, if that makes sense, if they were open. So maybe, oh, there goes my light. Not gonna lie, I did not expect that light to die. Not gonna lie, I did not think that light was gonna die. I've only been recording for maybe an hour, but um, okay, I was just making sure I was rolling my audio because I don't remember turning it back on. But yeah, so this would probably be an interesting one. It may or may not be good. I, this is a hit or miss right here. And then we got this. This is a bunch of lines. Um, I guess it could emulate light leaking through a window as well. I could be wrong. I have no idea. But basically, you just click this in and then you just... Basically, you just click this in and it should lock, yeah. And then if you wanna go ahead and put the barn doors on, this this is gonna be interesting. I have not actually tried out the barn doors yet, so this is gonna be something new for me too. So if you want, you know, you basically use barn doors to direct the light where you want it to go. So if you want it to go a little bit higher, you can have it a little bit higher. You want it to spread a little bit more, you can spread it there. And you basically just use it to direct the light. It also helps eliminate like over lighting a situation so you can have it more of like a spotlight if you wanted it to not directly like a spotlight but you can cut the light 
and just have it shoot through. And here's a little example of that. If I wanted to cut the light, it's not the best because you know these aren't you know real you know, good barn doors, but like for what it is, like it's very directional. And then you could spread it out and stuff like that. And then you just have more spread in the light. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in here. In my opinion, it's not the world's best light, but for a five watt, you know, little portable magnetic light that could also be put on your camera via cold shoe. I think it's a very good, you know, little little light to have. Now, I actually don't know the price of this, so let me look up my email real quick because they definitely sent me the link to the product, and of course, I don't have Gmail installed on my iPad, so I couldn't actually tell you, but from my experience, this does actually get pretty hot. So when you have this plugged into the camera, or plugged into a power source, I should say, while you're using it, it gets hot. I noticed that like my room felt hotter when I was using it, so I had to like turn on my fan, which I have on now. I actually don't, I don't think it's actually gonna bother the audio which is kind of good, but yeah, I, I, it gets hot. Let's just say that. Oh, of course, I just don't know how to read. I'm not very observant when it comes to things like that, uh, reading wise, but if you look at that, it actually has the five watts. It has CCT and RGB. Then it also says 2,700 to 7,000 Kelvin range. And then it also has a zero to 360 RGB. And then it's actually 800 milliamps. So I don't know how long you can, you know, get power out of that thing, but it should be, enough to get you by for like a quick little TikTok or you know real it should get you by if not you can literally plug it into a power bank and just have it constantly being powered on so that's always an option all right so i'm opening up the email right now and we're gonna actually see it's 50 bucks 50 dollars on the ulanzi website now if the light itself was 50 dollars, i'd say that's kind of crazy but it looks like it comes with the actual other products yeah it comes with everything okay so with it coming with everything fifty dollars is more reasonable just because it has you know the barn doors the little spotlight and then the diffusion dome which is key fifty dollars makes more sense but maybe 45 40 would be a little bit more reasonable but still fifty dollars and you get all of this i don't know i think like, me personally i wouldn't use all of these all the time you know they'd be very selective for like maybe b-roll shots of like a product or something that's what i would use it for but it wouldn't be everyday use so i personally wouldn't go out and just buy the whole kit you know if they sold the light by itself which i don't know if they do if they sold the light by itself that'd be a decent price you know for like 35 bucks you know the light itself for 35 is it's reasonable it looks like you can only buy it with the you know attachments that come with it so i mean and in that case like 50 bucks is all right. And it looks like the beam angle is 140 degrees. So that's a pretty good spread for this little light. And then you, it also weighs 111 grams. It's pretty light. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like if this was in my backpack, I wouldn't really notice a difference at all. This is a cob light. Keep that in mind. It's not like a little LED panel. So yeah, that's the difference between these. It's a cob light. So it's meant to be stationary and just locked off and you know, like that. But you could also, if you throw a diffusion dome, use it for like walking out and about content outside. If you're holding a little vlog camera, this is perfect. This would be the perfect light to have on your vlog camera because if anything you probably plug it into the camera and power it if not you can plug it into a v-mount battery or you can plug it into a power bank in your backpack like there are a lot of little factors that you can you know put in to like make this product a little bit better for what you need it to be i don't know how effective the effects are in a realistic point of view of using them in a shoot but like they're cool i guess if you just want to throw this on a bookshelf or something in the background just have it light up the wall behind you stuff like that this would be perfect but in my opinion i'd probably just use it for the color temperature settings just it being warm for me because my skin tones and yeah i feel like this would be a perfect little light to just have on a vlog camera or something as i'm looking online it does show that you can buy it with a tripod for 79 bucks that's personal i wouldn't buy a little tripod for it because i have other ways of mounting it you know personally already at 100 percent brightness it's showing 60 minutes of battery life at 100% brightness. That's not bad. An hour for 100% full power, not bad. But in my opinion, I needed the 100%. An hour is not going to be that long. But again, it's very tiny. And an hour is, honestly, I thought it was going to be like 30 minutes. An hour is kind of surprising. So overall, it has a total of 20 effects. So, I mean, that's pretty good for 50 bucks, 20 effects. I personally wouldn't use all the effects, but you know, like I said, it's to each his own. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Would I recommend the light? Yeah, if you're a little vlogger, if you wanna, you know, do little nighttime shoots with your vlogs, or if you wanna take some photos at night and you just need a little light, this is definitely portable. It'll get you by for an hour at least if you're at 100%. Yeah, I would recommend it. It's not because it was sent to me for free. It's good enough, like I said, for what it is. For 50 bucks, having all these little features, the little barn doors, if you're doing a lot of like small product shoots, like this is probably the perfect little light. That way you don't have to have like a big box light just for, you know, something this big that you're 
viewing, you know, like you don't want to have a big box light for something that size. Or even this, this is probably a better example. Like if I was shooting cologne, for example, something big and boxy would not be ideal. This would be, you know, perfect because it can give you that little slash of light onto it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm glad to be back doing a review of a product because y'all love these videos. If y'all did, y'all know what to do. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. And I will be making more videos. I have a couple videos that I need to edit. This video will probably be the last video out of all those to be edited. Actually, no, it'll be the next video to be edited because I have to get this up in a certain amount of time frame or I have to send the product back. So I need to get that done. And I'm kind of getting annoyed how my hair is just falling over. So this this is this is not the move. Oh yeah, and I also got new glasses. This is a little ADHD moment for y'all. But yeah, I'll uh I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.